Let us open our Bible to the book of Samuel, chapter 31, the last chapter of the book of Samuel. First Samuel 31, suicide, a wicked folly. Suicide, a wicked folly. First Samuel 31, verses 1 to 7. Souls defeat and death. Verses 1 to 3. As has already been shown several times in the book of Samuel, when life is going well for David, it is faking a downturn for Saul. The book concludes with one final graphic example. At about the time that David is in pursuit of the Amalekites, right, uh, the Amalekite raiders, Saul and the Israelite army are fighting the Philistines. David returns with only good news, but the Israelites are soundly defeated. Among the casualties are Saul and his sons. Verses 4 to 5, Saul is critically wounded and asks his armor bearer to kill him so he would avoid any, avoid any torment by his enemies. His armor bearer is afraid and refuses. So Saul falls on his own sword. The armor bearer the, uh, his armor bearer follows suit. A passing Amalekite later takes credit for delivering the death blow to Saul in 2 Samuel 1 verses 8 to 10. Though he might have been lying in hopes of receiving a reward from David, we cannot judge of the spiritual or eternal state of uh, anyone by the manner of of their death uh, for in that there is one event uh, to the righteous and uh, to this to the wicked soul when sorely wind, wounded and uh, unable to resist or to flee expressed no concern about his never dying soul. He only desired that the Philistine might not insult his self or put his body to pain. To disgrace men of God, one means pagan people like the Philistine often used was sodomy. Remember that the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah, thinking the two angels were men filled with a powerful spirit, lusted after them in order to strip them of their divine power through homosexual intercourse. This is in Genesis 19 verse 5. This terrible and dreadful sin of sodomy was repeated in the land of Israel during the period of the judges when every man did what was right in his own eyes as it is said in Judges 19 verses 22 to 30. It is the grand deceit of the devil to persuade sinners who are under great difficulties to fly, to fly to suicide, which is the last act of this desperation. It is well to fortify the mind against suicide by a serious consideration of its sinfulness before God and its miserable consequence in society. Saul chose to become his own murderer, thinking foolishly that he saved his reputation this way. He simply added with the suicide another grave sin, 
for a strong case to send him to hell. For Father Yahweh punishes severely those who commit suicide, which is self-murder. Let us read the scripture, but let us remind already that, that, that our Lord Yahshua said you cannot, you are not able to act, add any single hair of your head. You cannot create a man. Then you think that you can kill yourself because we have that possibility. I quote, when the righteous cry for help, Yahweh hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. And of course, this is quoting Psalm 34, verses 17 to 20. It is Yahweh who gives you life, not yourself. You cannot commit self-murder and fool yourself that God would ever be by your side. I quote again. I have three quotations. Be not overly wicked, neither be a fool. Why should you die before your time? And of quote. This is Ecclesiastes 7 verse 17. You are wicked and will be treated as a wicked by God if you commit suicide. Dying before your time. Deciding to die before your time. Record. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body and of good. This is quoting 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20. This is for those who are really confirmed as Christians, indwelt with the Holy Spirit. You cannot destroy the temple of God with suicide and think that you might get away with it before God. Our security is not our, in ourselves. Our security is not in ourselves. Let us seek protection from Yahweh who keeps Israel and all Christ's followers. Let us watch and pray and take unto us the whole armor of God so that we may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand as it is said in 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 uh, by, by apostle paul first samuel 31 verses 8 to 13 saul's body rescued by the men of jabesh gilead verses 8 to 11. when the philistines discover saul's body they cut off his head, placed his armor in the temple of Ash, Ash Ashtarat, and hang his body on the wall of one of the uh, cities. But the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead remembered how Saul had previously kept them from humiliation at the hands of the Ammonites in uh, in First Samuel 11 verses 1 to 11. When they hear what has happened to Saul, many of their, of their brave men march through the night, retrieve uh, the bodies of Saul and his sons, and return them to Israel uh, for a proper burial. Saul's, Saul's boldness toward the Ammonites at the Jabesh had been his finest hour and it was not forgotten by those whom he had saved. Verse 13 The book of 1 Samuel appears to end rather abruptly at this point because 
First Samuel and Second Samuel were originally a single work, a single book. So the story will continue as Second Samuel begins. The scripture makes no mention what became of the souls of Saul and his sons after they were dead, physically dead. Out of their bodies only, secret things do not belong to us. It is of little consequence by what means we die or what is done with our dead bodies. If our souls are saved, saved, our bodies will be raised incorruptible and glorious. Only the one who is able to get destroyed both, both body and soul in hell because of the extreme, the extreme uh, uh, folly and wickedness uh, shall fear the anger of Yahweh. The body of Saul was useless to the men of Jabesh Gilead. It was cursed since it hang on the tree. They obeyed the word of God that says, I quote, be sure to bury it that same day because anyone who is hung on a pole is under God's curse. You must not desecrate the land of Yahweh your God is giving you as an inheritance and of course this is Deuteronomy 21 verse 23. Saul had hung himself on a sword. His body was desecrated for over a day by the Philistines. His soul had been disobedient to Yahweh with his unrepented sins and practice of witchcraft. His body had to be burned like any cursed objects as the Jabeshites did. For Yahweh says about idolatrous objects, I quote, everything that can stand the fire, you shall pass through the fire and it shall be clean, end of quote. This is quoting Numbers 31 verse 23. How useless is the respect of fellow creatures to those who are suffering the wrath of God like so. While pompous funerals, grand monuments, and the praises of men honor the memory of the deceased the soul may be suffering in the regions of darkness and despair and there is no prayer that can save the soul of a deceased person simply because it is too late to change anything let us seek that honor which comes from god only know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Let us pray. Let us rise up and pray. No matter the desperation of this of a situation, I will trust in Yahweh to save me. In the Amen. name of Yeshua, no matter the desperation of the situation, I will trust Yahweh to save me. In the name of Yeshua, no matter the desperation of a situation, I will trust Yahweh to save me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the name of Yeshua, Messiah, we pray. My faith shall boost with new strength in desperate situations. In the name of Yeshua, my faith shall boost with new strength in desperate situations. In the name of Yeshua, my faith shall boost with new strength in desperate situations. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will all, I'm always be concerned about my ever dying soul more than my ever dying body. In the name of Yeshua, my never dying soul more than my ever dying body. I will always be concerned about my never dying soul 
more than my ever dying body, even the name of Yeshua will always be concerned about my never dying soul, more than my ever dying body, in the name of Yeshua will always be concerned about my never dying soul, more than my ever dying body. Thank you, Lord, for all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. You that dreadful and terrible seed of sodomy, in or around me, I come against you, your evil spirit by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Yeshua, you that dreadful and terrible seed of sodomy, in and around me, I come against you, your evil spirit by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Yeshua, you that dreadful and terrible seed of sodomy, in and around me. I come against you, your evil spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, for the Messiah, we pray. My, because my life is in the hands of Yahweh, I will never fall into the deadly soul trap of suicide. In the name of Yeshua, because my life is in the hands of Yahweh, I will never fall into the deadly soul trap of suicide. In the name of Yeshua, because my life is the, in the hands of Yahweh, I will never fall into the deadly soul trap of suicide. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will come up, commit neither murder nor self-murder. In the name of Yeshua, I will commit neither murder nor self-murder. In the name of Yeshua, I will commit neither murder nor self-murder. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Because sin, suicide is a sin with miserable consequences in society. Father, I will fortify my mind against that evil. In the name of Yeshua, because suicide is a sin with miserable consequences in society. Father, Yahweh, fortify my mind against that evil. In the name of Yeshua, because suicide is a sin with miserable consequences in society. Father, Yahweh, fortify my mind against that evil. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. My body is a temple Yahweh graciously awarded me. My duty is to keep it clean and healthy. In the name of Yeshua, my body is a temple Yahweh graciously awarded me. My duty is to keep it clean and healthy. In the name of Yeshua, my body is a temple Yahweh graciously awarded me. My duty is to keep it clean and healthy. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I am unable to ensure my own security. I seek Yahweh for protection. In the name of Yeshua, I am unable to ensure my own security. I seek Yahweh for protection. In the name of Yeshua, I am unable to ensure my own security. I seek Yahweh for protection. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I pull on the full armor of Yahweh and I stand against all the devil's schemes. In the name of Yeshua, I put on the full armor of Yahweh and I stand against all the devil's schemes. In the name of Yeshua, I put on the full armor of Yahweh and I stand against all the devil's schemes. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I buckle my belt of truth around my waist and I face and disgrace Satan's manipulations. In the name of Yeshua, I buckle my belt of truth around my waist and I face and disgrace Satan's manipulations. In the name of Yeshua, I buckle my belt of truth around my waist and I face and disgrace Satan's manipulations. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I put on the breastplate of righteousness and I resist any flaming arrows of the enemy. In the name of Yeshua, I buckle, I put on my, the breastplate of righteousness and I resist any flaming arrows of the enemy. In the name of Yeshua, I put on the breastplate of righteousness and I resist any flaming arrows of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. 
Il n'a pas de ma vie, il n'a pas de ma vie. I fit my feet with the readiness of the gospel and I bring every knee to bow down before me. In the name of Yeshua, I fit my feet with the readiness of the gospel and I bring every knee to bow down before me. In the name of Yeshua, I fit my feet with the readiness of the gospel and I bring every knee to bow down before me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, what I mean, so yeah, we pray. I put on the shield of faith and I extreme, ex extinguish every flaming arrows of the evil one. In the name of Yeshua, I put on the shield of faith and I extinguish every flaming arrows of the evil one. In the name of Yeshua, I put on the shield of faith and I extinguish every flaming arrows of the evil one. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. I take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit to destroy all enemies standing on my narrow way. In the name of Yeshua, I take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit to destroy all enemies standing on my narrow way. In the name of Yeshua, I take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit to destroy all enemies standing on my narrow way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. As I pray in spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests, Father Yahweh, answer me. In the name of Yeshua, as I pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests, Father Yahweh, answer me. In the name of Yeshua, and I pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and request, Father Yahweh, answer me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Pray in the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, is praying in tongues. Let us pray to avoid the destruction of both my body and soul in hell. Because of my folly and wickedness, I fear the anger of Yahweh and obey Him. In the name of Yeshua, to destroy the destruction of both my body and soul in hell, because of my folly and wickedness, I fear the anger of Yahweh and obey Him. In the name of Yeshua, to avoid the destruction of both my body and soul in hell, because of my folly and wickedness, I fear the hand of Yahweh and obey Him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Father Yahweh, never allow my body to be cursed. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, never allow my body to be cursed. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, never allow my body to be cursed. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, help me not to curse my body. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, help me not to curse my body. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, help me not to curse my body. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not seek the honors of my pompous funerals. I seek the honor that comes from Yahweh only. In the name of Yeshua, I will not seek the honors of my pompous funerals. I seek the honor that comes from Yahweh only. In the name of Yeshua, I will not seek the honors of my pompous funerals. I seek the honor that comes from Yahweh only. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen.